Now, the big focus on the show today, the issue of government hoardings, which have been put up in Lucknow, naming those accused of violence during protests against the controversial citizenship law, was taken up by the Allahabad High Court today. So, motto, a rare move given that today was Sunday and a court holiday. It was taken up by the Chief Justice himself. Now, at the initial hearing, which was at 10 in the morning, the court observed that such a move could be an encroachment on privacy, respect and freedom of citizens. During the one-hour hearing that took place later at 3 o'clock, the court asked several questions which were answered by the government representatives. The court is expected to give its judgment on the matter tomorrow afternoon. Well, to talk more about the developments today, we're joined by SR Dharapuri, former IPS officer and activist, and Sadaf Jafar, actor and a Congress member, and two of the people who actually featured on that uh, billboard. So, uh, Mr. Dharapuri, first I'd like to start with you. What is your reaction to the developments of today? Were you surprised? Uh, actually, uh, I think the action by the Chief Justice of Allahabad High Court, it is, it is welcome and it is uh, very much uh, desirable also. Uh, because the way state government is uh, behaving and the way they have put up our holdings, uh, it, it, uh, this intervention at the judicial level is a must and we welcome it. All right, sir. And when the hoardings were put up, were you, were you shocked? Pardon? You when shocked? the hoardings were first put up, were you shocked? No. Yes, yes, we were shocked. We never expected. And uh, on the other side, I have served in police department for 32 years. Yes, absolutely. It has never happened in the history of uh, Uttar Pradesh. Yes, it has never happened in the history of Uttar Pradesh or any other state. Uh, police puts up posters of most wanted and uh, against whom uh, this uh, um, uh, inam has been negotiated only and that too after adopting a due process. But in this case, no process, no law has been followed and we have been put up on the holdings. Absolutely. And Sadaf, we, uh, of course, NDTV interviewed you standing next to that poster, standing next to your, the very hoarding with your name and address. And uh, so uh, a, a welcome news, a welcome development today for you with the High Court taking up the matter. Yes, actually, it re reaffirms our faith in the judiciary of the country, you know, uh, especially for the ones who say that uh, where is judiciary and why is it not taking cognizance of things? Here is the judiciary and here it is taking cognizance. But the thing is that uh, just look at the audacity of the state government that despite the fact of being told to pull down the holdings, they are still up there, you know, mocking us in our face. All right. Though actually, so there, there was some shocking. confusion. I'd like and to clarify here that... Initially, when the 10 a.m. hearing took place, there, there was no order given by the, by the Chief Justice. He simply observed that he hopes uh, that perhaps by 3 o'clock the hoardings would not be up. This was uh, misinterpreted by uh, various media, not us, but other media, and was reported as an order given by the Chief Justice. So that's why later in the hearing at 3 o'clock, when, when the hearing took place, uh, you know, because government uh, representative couldn't come, so the hearing took place at 3. At that time, I, I believe that the media I was asked to leave the court at that time because of, of the misreporting. But yes, so far there is no order as such. There was an observation and now we're waiting for that order which will come mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yes, we are waiting for that order to come, although the damage is done to a great extent already. Uh, we are being trolled on social media. We are, the, our addresses are all over. Uh, see, the whole idea, this whole thing of uh, this does not, you know, when you are going against the constitution and CRPC and trying to do you, things at your own, uh, you know, uh, discrimination, it is absolutely discriminating. The way we have been put up out there in front of everybody in in your face kind of a thing uh, like i uh, kamal khan uh, called me uh, mr kamal khan called me and uh, he was interviewing me uh, right next to the hoarding the pictures that you are showing on your screen right. and that was a time when i was almost surrounded by people and they were abusing us and they were actually getting violent i had to move away from that place so when people ask me to go and click pictures it is very scary to go there and click pictures because i i can't and as far you know, as because the case I, I fear against you that goes, how the mob would react. All right, and as far as this case that is being, you know, uh, against you, in which you're named as one of the instigators, both of you are named as instigators during uh, the violence and riots that took place. Uh, how is that case proceeding? 
See, that case is still they haven't filed the charge sheet. Uh, we, were, we are all on bail because uh, of lack of evidence. They could not pr present in, uh, enough uh, sufficient evidence in the court. So then also they said that when there is no evidence, why are these people still in the prison? And I got bail after 20 days. Right. Both uh, so of did you were, were in jail. So the for... thing is that uh, yes, go 20 ahead. 20 days. And I was, of course, yes. And then it was like now that we are out on bail, charge sheet is not filed. See, the laws does not say that you put up pictures of the people on the crossroads like that unless and until people are absconding. We are living in our homes. We have not run away. We are cooperating with police and law. Whenever they call us, we are willing to be there. All right. Well, we're joined so by we are Geeta not defaulters. Bhatt. What is it that we should be? All right. Well, I'd like to get in Geeta here. Geeta Bhatt joining us, political analyst and someone uh, who, who supports the government. Geeta, what would you say to, you know, this is absolutely outrageous to put up posters like this with people who know, uh, you know, court proceedings have taken place so far. And today the Chief Justice taking it up, so motto, saying that this could be an encroachment on privacy, respect and freedom of citizens. We are waiting for the final order tomorrow. But how would you defend something like this? Well, Gargi, you see, there may not be any, uh, you know, precedence to uh, to putting up of uh, such kind of uh, hostings. But then there is always a first time for everything. Considering that time and again, there have been many Supreme Court judgments which have uh, categorically, uh, you know, asked that. Uh, excuse me. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, you know, they have categorically, uh, in fact, given directive to the government uh, that there must be guidelines, especially considering if there has been any, you know, in the violence acts, damage of uh, uh, public property, then there should be a procedure where you know, those who have done the damage, they are, they are made to pay the fine. So, this is something which maybe for the first time has, is being enacted, but various governments can actually sit and look into it that what kind of guidelines can be modulated, you know, they can be standardized in terms of going ahead when such kind of a fine payment is required. Because uh, all, see, all right, this was Gita, the notice, you, you talk about this being the, a precedent right? as if so it's a welcome right move. To, <laughs> You're talking about it as if it's a welcome move, but even though the Supreme Court said yes, the damages must be taken from well, those but who, that is who a fact. rioted, I mean, but there I, has to be some due a, process, there's a, a law that to be has followed. Not been done for the first time. Isn't it? And in why, fact, I'll, that to is speak why more is, on that, so you much, will put our pictures so on the crossroads you know, for the first time and have but a case. This is not the way. Nothing, no case has been proven, no charges have been proven against any of these people and they're upstanding citizens of the country. I'd like to get Karuna in here. Karuna was an advocate with the Supreme Court. Yeah. Karna, you yeah, answer I, this. I, I just want to add something. All right, Geeta, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to say, you see, in case there is, it is a case of mistaken identity, then the concerned person can always go and, you know, submit to the uh, the subdivisional magistrate <laughs> or to the concerned person. But Geeta, their photos and their addresses that, have been you know, put up publicly like this. This is a case of mistaken like identity. All right, all right. And, but just imagine also, that mistaken also, identity Gargi, of photos and, and your addresses have no been put up in this manner like a most wanted and no charges have been proven. Karuna, you come in here. Tell me, uh, what would you uh, say to Geeta Bhatt? I wouldn't say anything to Geeta Bhatt. She's entirely mistaken about what the law is uh, and indeed um, ethics in this given situation. What I would say though on, this, uh, on the act of the UP government to put up people's faces and uh, names in this manner is that it has got nothing to do with the law at all. It is completely illegal and contrary to law, which is why a direction has been passed on a Sunday by the court. The Prevention of Destruction um, to Public Property Act is something that, yes, that where there is destruction of property, that compensation, uh, uh, that the damages can be recovered. But the point is that that has nothing to do with the present situation. If there is a prosecution under the Act and if there is, um, the, uh, the facts are established, then the best that can be done is that there is a, uh, uh, the damages can be recovered. Nowhere does it say that even were there to be a conviction, that would these faces be put up on a choraha as it were. With their addresses. Now, 
at the very least, this is a violation of privacy at the very least threshold. But what it in the con all speeches in context, and what is the current context in UP? The, in the current context, this is an invitation to lynch, no less. It is an invitation. Why would you put up the addresses? That's not shaming. You put up the addresses because it is an invitation for non-state actors to go to these people's houses and commit violence. All right. I'd why also like the, to... Why did the court sit on a Sunday? Because of this. Absolutely, and we're waiting for the order to be passed tomorrow, but also the case in Bijnor, I'd like to bring up here, in which 48 people were granted bail by the judge who said, who, you know, took the police to task because no evidence was given against any of these people. They were all in jail after the anti-CA protest. And so this doesn't really give you much confidence in, in, in the entire, you know, the way the UP police is functioning, isn't it, Karuna? Absolutely. I think the, the way you put it is very polite and very mild, but you're absolutely right that given the time that even Sadaf Jafar was in custody for absolutely no reason, and the way that she was treated in custody is absolutely egregious. I think the time has come for the courts to set very, very clear precedents in individual prosecutions where the is where state actors are acting above and beyond the law and where they are acting legally and damages for the people who have been suffering. Damages in, to the extent and recoverable to some extent from the individual officer. Actually, all damages should be recovered by, uh, against the individual officers because why should the taxpayer pay for this kind of uh, egregious illegality? All right, Mr. Darabhar, really, I'd like to, needs to get to you set. in here, having served yeah. in the police, having been, uh, yeah. you know, you're a former IPS officer, to see the way yeah. uh, the police is now functioning yeah. in UP, and, and, I'm, and, I, and I'm bringing up the Bijnor case because that is, you know, a case in point that sh really exemplifies the fact that the police threw these people into jail, 48 people, when it came to the court, the, they had no evidence and the uh, judge granted bail to all of them and, and took the police to task saying, where is your evidence? What, is, what have you even brought before me? So what would you say about the functioning of the police, sir? It clearly shows that those persons have been falsely implicated. Uh, they, they were just picked up and, and booked. Uh, the same thing happened with us also. When we, when, uh, we applied for uh, this bail, the police was in no position to put up any evidence against us. And the court has put it on record that the police has failed to provide any evidence against us. So we, we were given bail. So in, in these cases, the police has implicated almost uh, uh, majority of the people, they are innocent. And they just have been picked up to, uh, uh, to, to show a, 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 an action that we have, we have booked up so many persons. And one thing more about this uh, photographs, I would like to clarify that under the present law, police doesn't have any power to take photograph of the accused person. Mm. A photograph of an accused person can be taken only with the permission of the court, magistrate. But here in our case, our photographs have been taken, I don't know from where, and it is illegal and they have put up on the holding. It is violation of our right to pri uh, our, uh, our privacy and it has engendered our life and liberty. And I personally hold the state fully responsible for this thing, if anything happens to us, I have already written a letter to the Home Secretary, DGP and other officer that if as a result of your this illegal action, anything happens to me, I will wholly hold you responsible uh, for uh, if anything adverse ca ca comes, ca right, comes so on me. Gita, so this whole action is illegal. All right, Geeta, you were talking about how this is a, a new way of the UP government and a precedent in terms of dealing with those who, who riot or cause violence. But look at the case in Bijnor that we've just discussed, the fact that 48 people, no evidence could be you know, brought before the court. The court uh, took the police to task and granted bail to 48 people. I mean, uh, you know, all these uh, photos that have been put up, they could have been d done there as well. And now these, there's no evidence at all. So it just goes to prove. Well, uh, you see, uh, uh, well, as you said that, you know, they have been uh, let free when there was no evidence against them. Uh, also, it is also important, Gargi, to remember that more than 60 policemen 
of Uttar Pradesh, they had uh, you know gunshot injuries showing very well that there were the you know the uh, the kind of uh, 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 very well planned uh, uh, viol violence which had taken place in Uttar Pradesh uh, immediately after the CA Act had passed and the violence that had erupted over there. Secondly, it has been said that uh, you know nowhere in the law it is written that uh, any kind of hoardings can be put <laughs> of those who have been served as show cause notice. So I, I do want to, uh, you know, I do understand that that means that nowhere it has been either written that it cannot be put. You know, or that I, any kind of, this has not been put. I, I, if there Mr. Darapu, yes. I see you, you want to react to that. That's not true. Yes. 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 Madam, as well. that is completely yes. untrue. Yes. You are speaking from speak a place lagging. of complete ignorance of the say. law. Yes. You give time, enough time yes. to everyone, but yes. I am yes. not getting time. No, no, Gita, you've made your point. You've said what you had to. Then you can ask. What? And that's not true. You've no, had I, no, as I much time, if not more than others. Also. But please finish your point. And, uh, and uh, if there is fi one, finish your point. Finish your point quickly. For, go for ahead, Geeta. Finish I your point. I don't know who is the anchor over here, Dargi. Yes, no. I'm saying finish Dargi, your point. Then I'll go to the other the panelists. Show, but in any case, oh, yes, <laughs> I'm. <laughs> real yes, that's what I'm saying. So it is. It is. Why is it that if in case, in case the person concerned. If they think if they think that they are not guilty, they have not done anything wrong. Then in that case, you know, they in any case the case is not going to uh, uh, go uh, you know go ahead. Of the but case their names and their them. addresses have already been put up. Sadaf, what, what, what would you say to uh, what Geeta is just uh, arguing? See, <laughs> see, I I have been arrested. I have served jail. They had no evidences against me, and I'm out on bail. What have my children done? What have my, the other people of the family members have done? We are falsely implicated, one. Two, our families have been endangered. We've been put into that kind of thing where my son puts a rickety shoe rack at the entrance door stating that, Mama, if somebody comes, at least you'll be protected. They have put us in fear psychosis. Is that what they are trying to do? And nothing has been proven in we court have against been working you. working... All right, I'm nothing, running out of time, there, Karuna. It's been almost final. two months. There is no charge sheet. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Karuna, final word to you. And of course, we're awaiting what the High Court will say tomorrow. The High Court having taken this case up by itself and heard it on a Sunday. There are a number of things. The law does prohibit the publication of these photos and the addresses in this manner. The first is that, as I said, at the very lowest threshold, it goes against the judgment in Puttaswami, in the nine judge bench of the Supreme Court. We have a draft privacy law, we don't have proper privacy laws. However, the judgment in Puttaswami is quite clear that you can't, in, in, uh, that is a constitutional right to human dignity, that you can't violate people's privacy like this. It is an Article 21 right. It is basic, it is fundamental. The second thing is that these people so far have not been convicted of anything. They haven't done any wrong. Absolutely. But even we had they be con been convicted, right. this would we be keep completely coming unlawful. Back to that and but we'll the just most have to important wait. thing is we'll that these people, their children and their families, their lives are being endangered. Absolutely. That is well, the most significant thing. I'm completely out of time, but thank you all for joining us and we'll wait and see what it is the High Court, the, uh, the order will be given out tomorrow afternoon. Thank you so much for joining me on the show today.